This is 1B part 5. You're asked to describe how each formula and function works. You're told to describe every part of every formula and function, making reference to any cells that have been used within each formula and function. Now this is really important because in your real coursework what you're going to get the marks for is for the annotation and how well you explain. So we're going to have a look at a couple of these. First one we're going to look at is the months not charged and how this has been annotated. So to calculate the number of months that will not be charged, I used the month function. So we're making reference to this month function down here. To find the month of the start date. So we're saying what is the purpose of the month function? The purpose is to find the month of something. And then we're saying to find the month of the start date. Now you don't have to do this, but I always find that it's helpful if you just change any named cells to a different colour. don't have to do it at all and you might not be printing in colour anyway. So we've made reference to this, the fact that it's the month function and what it does, and that we're finding the month of the start date. We're then saying we subtracted it from 13. Now. That's obvious because it says it here, but it's more important is why have we done that? So we now need to say why it's been subtracted from 13 rather than 12. And that's because incomplete months need to be included. Now, what you can do on here as well is also add some arrows. Okay, so I can just make it clear that that is where my 13 is. Put another arrow here. And I can make it clear that is where the start date is. Put another arrow here and we can make it clear where month is. You can see it, gets, it does get a little bit messy but it does show what each part of the formula or function does and it shows that you have understood every bit of it. So as you go through and you look at other ones you need to again cover every single part of it. So if we have a look at what we've done here we've got our years charged. We've got our months not charged that we've made reference to. We're saying that we've multiplied it by 12, but why have we multiplied it by 12 to find the number of months in those years? And then we've added on the months not charged. So we're explaining why we've multiplied it by 12. So this is really important and annotation is a good skill that you need to learn.